what we're listening to now is the sound of the sun, really the music of the sun. It's the sound waves that are inside the sun bouncing off the surface. Now, of course, you can't hear these directly. We see them bouncing off the surface, but we can translate them into something that you can hear. The frequency is much lower than you can hear with your own ear. The natural frequency is about five minutes. We hear things in the several hundred hertz, several hundred oscillations per second mode. So we sped it up so we can hear it, and you can hear what the sun is doing inside. It's really fantastic. So this is a good example of what happens on the sun in the helioseismology, where the waves, the oscillations, are excited at the surface like my finger is doing and cause the whole sun to vibrate. So the different sound waves go to different parts of the interior of the sun. And depending upon the temperature and the density, the frequency will be different. So if, if there's a magnetic field, what happens is the sound wave will travel faster, the tone will go up, the frequency will go up. So if we measure that tone carefully, we can tell something about the inside of the sun. We can tell where it's hot, where it's colder, where it's magnetically active, where it's not magnetically active, what the density and pressure is. So we put together that whole picture from those different tones, from the different modes. Even though they're all observed on the surface, they go different parts of the interior of the sun where the physical conditions are quite different.